Hi Spirit Hill families, this is Jackson here. It's been a few weeks since I made a video, so I thought I'd take a moment from my busy day of gardening outside in this beautiful weather to talk to you about this weekend. This Sunday in church, Reverend Erica and our church family will be celebrating essential workers. Essential workers are people who have to go outside of their home during this pandemic to work. They could be nurses, doctors, people who clean the hospitals. They can be paramedics, firemen, police officers, or they could be the people who go out every day to our grocery stores and make sure that we have what we need uh, for our families to eat. One of the two scriptures that Reverend Erica will be focusing on is a scripture from Matthew. And I thought I would like to read it to you. In this scripture, Matthew describes an interaction that Jesus had with a group called the Pharisees. Pharisees were like scholars. And one thing that they were very good at were making laws. Lots and lots of laws. The Pharisees weren't very keen on Jesus and his teachings, so they decided to try to trap him. Let's hear about Jesus and the Pharisees. The Pharisees were a group of people who had lots and lots of laws. Altogether, they had more than 600. Oof, that's a lot of rules to follow. One day, one of the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, what's the greatest law? He didn't think Jesus could possibly pick just one out of so many. He was trying to trick Jesus. But Jesus knew the man was trying to trick him. He looked at the man and smiled. Love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all of your mind, Jesus said. That is the greatest of all commandments. But there's another really important one too. Love your neighbor as you yourself. If you obey these two laws, then you obey all of the laws. And here's Jesus with the Pharisees. And I love this next picture. I'm going to show it to you. The Pharisees' jaws dropped to the floor. They were shocked to know just how smart Jesus was. They were surprised Jesus had answered their question and turned their trick around on them. They didn't know what to say. Then Jesus had a question for them. What do you think about the Messiah? Whose son is he? That was an easy question for the Pharisees. They had grown up learning in school that the Messiah came from the family of David. So that's what they told Jesus. Then why do all the people from the family of David praise David as the Messiah? Jesus asked. Now that was a hard question. The Pharisees didn't have an answer. They backed away and didn't try to trick Jesus again. And again, let me show you this picture because I just love that they were like, oh! So the two, two really important things in here that Jesus said was to love God with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our mind, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. That is something I really want you to think about this weekend as we think about our essential workers. What are some ways that we can show them love and them support when we are trying to stay home ourselves. Well, one of the simplest things that you can do is print off this thank you heart. It may look backwards in this video, but it says thank you, and it has a big heart, and it says from Asylum Hill Congregational Church. And your family can print this off. There's a link in, in the email that this video comes in. Plus, um, Rhonda Mitchell, who sends out our weekly emails to all of the grown-ups in the church, also has a link there, too. If you don't have a printer, guess what you can do? Get markers, get paper, get tape, draw a big heart, and write thank you on it, and tape it up in your window. 
is the simplest way to show your support for all of those who are going out and working for us outside the home during this pandemic. There's some other things you can do. If you're grown up in your house or you're, if you have a big brother and sister and they have social media, they can do a shout out to people. They can say thank you. Try to be nice. That's one thing that sometimes grown-ups have a really hard time doing. We always think as kids that it's hard for us to be nice to each other, but I think sometimes grown-ups have a harder time being nice. But remind your grown-up if they go to the grocery store to say thank you to those workers. If they get sick themselves and have to go to the hospital or anybody you know, say thank you. Same thing with your family. My husband, and you all know Benjamin, his dad is a paramedic. That means he goes out and he helps people who are very sick and he helps to take care of them until they get to the hospital. We say every day thank you and we love to him because we know that that is his job and it doesn't make us feel any less worried for him, but we know that in our hearts that we love him and that we are very proud of what he does. So this weekend, think about what you can do to, to say thank you to an essential worker. In the email, I included a few ideas, other ideas that you can do with your family to show your support. And one of the easiest things that you can do as a kid for these essential workers is just say a prayer to God. And if we can remember from the times when we were back together at church, Prayers don't have to be hard and they don't have to be complicated. They can feels like very hard to want to say a prayer. Even I have a hard time saying prayers. But it can be simple, just like this. Dear God, please watch over our essential workers as they go out to their jobs every day. Keep them safe. Keep their families safe and watch over them. Amen. Now, I would love for you all to enjoy this beautiful weather this weekend. Have fun. Get outside in your yards and show love for each other. Bye, and hopefully we'll be seeing you all soon.